Meanwhile, House of Representatives has asked the Central Bank of Nigeria to increase agricultural lending by banks in the country from 1.4% to 7% of total lending within the next five years, with 50% of such lending going through smallholder farmers, through microfinance institutions, farmer cooperatives, and value chain commodity associations at an interest rate of 7.5 to 10.5%. This followed a motion at plenary by Honorable Uchenna Harit Okunkwo on the need to reposition Nigeria incentive-based risk sharing for agricultural lending to ensure optimal performance in boosting agriculture and food production. In his debate on the motion, Honorable Okunkwo said that people are ailing with severe impoverishment across the country, as well as increase in hunger due to decreased agricultural productivity triggered by low capital investments and insufficient funding of agricultural production. The House is concerned that the agricultural sector, which accounts for 40% of the nation's gross domestic product GDP and provides for over 60% of employment, has experienced slower growth recently and is underperforming despite enormous potential. The House is convinced that, the reverse, the trend, that to reverse the trend there is need to tackle the challenge of underfinancing of agricultural value chains by providing NERSAL with an additional $3 billion for lending to agricultural value chain actors across Nigeria. The House is cognizant of the need to reduce bank breaks, even interest rates to agricultural value chain borrowers from 7.5% to 10.5%. The House therefore resolves the following. One, urge the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, to increase agricultural lending to banks from 1.4% to 7% of total lending within the next five years. Mr. Speaker, in the Night Assembly, I was the Chairman of Communication Committee. I'm fully aware of NISA. They are making use of post offices across the country so that NISA agricultural loan can get to the nook and crannies of Nigeria. But Mr. Speaker, the engineers are not patronizing NISA. The reason is that their interest is high. It's too high for Nigerian farmer to approach them. In as much as we are asking for more money for NISA, this, the committee that will be referred to should also look at the interest rate NISA is giving out to Nigerians. If their interest rate is so affordable, Nigerians will patronize NASA. This is a very, very timely motion to be able to give them guidance on how to be able to fulfill their mandate. As we know, food security is very important and access capital is very important for small uh, holder farmers. So, Mr. Speaker, I rise to support this motion very, very strongly.